Good day everyone and welcome back. Okay, so today's session we will be discussing on uh, protection relay setting calculation for medium voltage capacitor bank. Our subject capacitor bank is being rated at 875 K bar. Okay, so let's go first on our key single line diagram. Actually, the location of our uh, capacitor bank is being connected on this uh, main switch gear, 11 kb main switch gear from here. Okay, okay, so our uh, these are the basic uh, data which is related to our calculation for the relay setting of our capacitor bank. Okay, feeder. Okay, so this is the name tag of the capacitor bank. The location of the bus. This is the name tag of the location of the bus. Okay. And the same we are using the relay from GE which is uh, F60 Multilin. Okay. And the current transformer is being rated at the ratio is 300 is to 1 ampere, uh, 10 volt ampere for the burden and a class is 5P20. Our zero current transformer is 25 is to 1 ampere and our uh, PT rating is 11,000 volts is to 110 volts. Okay, so our capacitor, subject capacitor is being rated at 46 ampere. And the rating current of the cable, this cable from here, okay, is being rated above 46 ampere. The maximum in peak current of our capacitor bank is 27 ampere at 0 0.1 second. Okay, our 11 kb minimum line to line fault, okay, is having equal to or greater than 9,075 ampere. Our 11 kb minimum line to ground fault is rated equal to 409 ampere. And our capacitive current rating of our cable is equal or less than 1 ampere. Okay. So now let's pro proceed to our proper uh, calculation on our phase over current protection or ANSI 51 relay. So we will be having two threshold for this ANSI 51 uh, relay calculation. This, this is the first threshold and this is the second threshold. Okay. For the first threshold, okay, the pickup current has to be 150% of the rated current of our capacitor bank. So we have here 1.5 times our rated current which is 46 so that's why our pickup current is being set at 69 ampere okay so or at 0.23 per unit so how we derive this 0.23 we'll just multiply the pickup current of 69 to the ratio of our current transformer which is 1 over 300 okay so we have here our curve is taken from I triple E very inverse. Okay, it's so being set on that uh, this particular curve. Okay, and what we derive, we derive this <coughs> after we solve this equation, we have the time dial multiplier at 0 0.37. Okay, so this will be our equation for this uh, particular curve. Okay, and we have this uh, constants from our I triple E standard. Okay, so we have this uh, basic constants with we have the value of A here, B, and P. We'll just substitute this information from here. Okay, then here in our uh, our capacitor. It says here the maximum inner peak current at 207 ampere. So this will be our I from here. Okay. And our I pick up is 69 ampere. This will be substituted from here. 
Okay. So, it is being mentioned that our time dial multiplier setting has to be, has a, should have a margin of one second above the in rest uh, time. Okay. So, that's why we have here, our in rest time is 0 0.1 second and above and above the one second that's why we are this is that's why we come up this information here 0 0.1 plus 1 okay so substituting all this information okay data from here our we derive the time dial multiplier to be 0 0.37 okay so this will be our first threshold uh, calculation Okay, our second threshold for the ANSI 51 relay, it should be that the setting, okay, the pickup current should be smaller than the 11 KB minimum short circuit current. So that's why we come up this uh, value from here to be 565% of the rated current of the capacitor bank. So 5.65 times 46 the rate current of the capacitor bank we derive that that uh, the value of 260 ampere or we assign here our rate uh, pick up current okay the second threshold to be 261 ampere at 0.87 per unit 261 ampere we just multiply uh, by the CT ratio which is 1 over 300 that's why we derive this 0 0.87 per unit okay then we set here our time is definite time set at 0 0.1 second okay so this is our uh, this this calculation are for the ANC51 relay. Next, for our ANC51N or the air fault protection, okay, we have here it's being uh, set at our threshold is being set at 10% of the rated current of our capacitor bank. So we just multiply 0 0.1 times our rated current which is 46 that's why we have 46 4.6 ampere rather okay so our pickup current air fault protection is we have here assigned 4.5 ampere at 0 0.18 per unit 0 0.18 per unit we arrive we derive this by multiplying the 4.5 ampere to the ratio of our zero current transformer which is 1 over 25 again we have here a definite time set at 0 0.1 second our third relay is unsip 27 or the phase under voltage protection okay so our setting here our threshold here is 10 percent of the rated voltage okay so that's why we have here 0 0.1 times the primary voltage of 11 kV that's why we derive this value 1100 volts so our under voltage rating is 1100 volts or 0 0.1 per unit 0 0.1 will just multiply this by uh, the PT ratio which is 110 over uh, 11,000 and the, un the, the, the result will be multiplied also by the secondary voltage of 110 this value okay then our definite time we are our time setting here we have set at definite time which is zero second okay so we have a remark from here that uh, we need to wait uh, that the capacitor to be discharged before reclosing the feeder on the network before bringing again 
or capacitor bank on the network okay thanks for watching uh if you don't if you uh didn't subscribe yet please uh subscribe thank you